Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. And we're going to do a little bit of whale watching. Have you been out there on the ocean watching the whales? Well, we're going to watch the Bitcoin whales today. And the whales have accumulated $108 million worth of Bitcoin. We're also going to give you a quick update on India. So let's take a look at it a little bit more in depth. We're going to look at these three different articles. The first one is India Crypto Exchange Coin DCX raises $2.5 million from Polychain Capital Coinbase Ventures. In other words, Coinbase is investing in this Indian crypto exchange and they helped uh, provide them with $2.5 million dollars. So Coinbase thinks that CoinDCX is a great opportunity um, and has a very strong future. RBI, which is the uh, bank regulators in India, says no restrictions on banks providing accounts to crypto traders. And this is really good news that the government regulators are saying that banks are not restricted to provide banking services to both cryptocurrency businesses as well as individual traders. And then finally in the news, we're going to talk about Bitcoin whales accumulating $108 million worth of Bitcoin as the price drops. And so you know the old saying, uh, buy it when the price is low, sell it when the price is high. Well, that's what the whales are actually doing. They saw that the price had dipped and they're actually buying more, buying up more Bitcoin. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It really helps us out and really helps us with the Google algorithms. So my disclaimer here, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And so if you want individual personalized advice, you'll need to seek out a financial advisor. In the meantime, understand that cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. So take a look at the rest of this disclaimer. Be sure that you understand the risks that you're engaging in if you choose to invest in cryptocurrency. Now, the current cryptocurrency market's currently 6.51 a.m. Central Standard Time on May 26, 2020. And the price of Bitcoin right now is $8,868. And that is a 1.5% gain in the last 24 hours. The Bitcoin dominance is currently at 65.98%. And so it has dropped a little bit. It wasn't that long ago that the Bitcoin dominance was hovering around 67, 68%. And so what that basically means is that the other altcoins, the coins other than Bitcoin, have gained slightly in their relationship to Bitcoin. In other words, their market cap has gone up slightly, whereas Bitcoin's market cap may have gone down slightly, uh, reducing Bitcoin's dominance in the cryptocurrency market. So India Crypto Exchange Coin DCX raises two and a half million dollars in capital from Polychain Capital, uh, which is Coinbase Ventures. India's largest cryptocurrency exchange has secured a two and a half million dollar strategic investment led by Polychain Capital with support from Coinbase Ventures. The investment aims to reinforce the exchange's efforts to drive cryptocurrency adoption in the country after a major major legal victory in March. CoinDCX's Try Crypto campaign seeks to bring the total number of crypto users in India to 50 million. And so if they can actually achieve getting 50 million users in India on cryptocurrency, that would be significant for the cryptocurrency market. Specifically, the financing aims to bolster CoinDCX's meetup events, community engagement of efforts, educational programs, and consumer campaigns, the company said. And so it looks like their strategy is really about trying to meet with local individuals in several different, ma- several different 
uh, uh, format, several different venues. And by meeting up with local people about coin, cryptocurrency and about Coin DCX, they have a, a real a real strong potential of dramatically growing uh, the exchange and getting to 50 million users in India. The new strategic investment into Coin DCX is a shot of confidence in our roadmap toward bringing the crypto asset class to a largely untapped Indian market. We look forward to our investors' continued counsel, said uh, Sumit Gupta, CEO and co-founder of Coin DCX. Following the lifting of the banking ban in March, Coin DCX has seen a 47% growth in trading volume and a 150% growth in daily active users. Coin DCX said it was one of the first cryptocurrency exchanges in India to integrate bank account transfers. And so with bank account transfers, they have a definitive edge in bringing and onboarding new users because it makes it easier for those new users to transfer funds from their bank accounts into the exchange. So good news overall. Now the RBI, which is India's uh, banking regulators, say there's no restriction on banks providing accounts to crypto traders. So in detail, in 2018, the RBI released a statement restricting all regulated entities, including banks, from dealing with any organization or individual traders transacting in cryptocurrencies. After the ban, many companies and traders also received warning statements from their respective banks advising them to either stop their cryptocurrency activities or have their accounts suspended. And nobody wants to have their bank account suspended because you know your, your money is basically on hold and you can't use it for the things that you need to buy. Things have since improved as in early March, the Supreme Court lifted the RBI's ban on financial entities from dealing with crypto-related customers. However, uncertainties still abound regarding whether banks could support accounts for such customers. Earlier this spring, some banks were reportedly still refusing services to crypto businesses. And so, after the Supreme Court scrapping RBI's ban on crypto and RTI's reply from RBI, it clear, it's clear that there is no need for any blockchain or crypto company to register outside of India. Um, because of the ban, many cryptocurrency companies uh, were registering their businesses outside of India and yet they were still doing business inside of India. And so this allows them to actually register inside of India and to be able to connect up to banks and offer services to individuals and businesses. So ultimately, that's a really good thing for India, you know, because India has over 1.3 billion people, and the more of those people that can get involved in cryptocurrency, the better it is for the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. Bitcoin whales accumulate $108 million worth of Bitcoin as price drops. Bitcoin whales have started accumulating more tokens after the cryptocurrency price dipped below 9500 according to data aggregator Santiment. Historical data shows that the affluent crypto holders are trading Bitcoin short term to extract maximum profits. It suggests an interim price recovery could be underway, but warns about a broader downtrend ahead. Cryptocurrency analysis, analysts, analysis Portal Sentiment released data that evidenced an increase in Bitcoin accumulation in wallets holding more than 100 Bitcoin. The data aggregators noted that whales added more than 12,000 bitcoins to their bags, which is an equivalent of about $108 million at the current exchange rates. So whales, in general, represent entities with cryptocurrency holdings worth more than $1 billion. Observers often turn to check their bitcoin wallet balances to gauge the market's short-term sentiment. That said, the number of Bitcoin held in whales' wallets is rising, then it signals an uptrend at a larger stage, at a later stage. But if the quantity falls, then it indicates a bear market. So 
things are actually beginning to look quite bullish. Bitcoin recovery, a $108 million buy order is not large enough to flip flipped Bitcoin's bearish sentiment, but it shows whales are taking calculative, calculative risks to maximize their cash-based profits, especially amidst a worsening financial crisis. All right, so that's what I have for the news for, for you for today. How can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Please leave them in the YouTube channel comments below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and huddle. And then do me a favor. Have a fantastic day.